Hello and welcome to the session in which we would look at taxes paid at a corporate level when it comes to S corporation. Well, this is a little, little bit unusual because S corporations are flow through entities. They don't pay taxes themselves. The taxes are the responsibility of the shareholders. So the corporation itself are not tax paying entities. This is what we need to know about S corporation. They should not have a tax liability on the corporate level. However, under certain circumstances, the S corporation as an entity might be responsible for some taxes. And usually this happens when there is a switch from a C corporation to an S corporation. Now in the prior session, we looked at the built-in ga tax gains, the passive income penalty tax. In this session, we would look at LIFO recapture tax as well as the general business credit recapture. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, farhatlectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's gonna help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles, my accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses, broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. So what is LIFO recapture or what's the LIFO recapture rule? Simply put, the first thing we need to be aware of, once again, we're going from a C to an S. And when you were using the C corporation, you were using LIFO, last and first out. So the LIFO recapture applies only when the FIFO, when you switch, and the FIFO value is greater than your LIFO value. Well, that's a lot of terminology. Let's just, let's just kind of play with some number here. So first, when you were a C, once again, you were using LIFO, and now you switched. What happened is this. We would look at your inventory, and we will see if, you're, if you assume FIFO inventory and FIFO is greater than LIFO, if FIFO is greater than LIFO, you have that tax to pay. Now, why? Well, let's take a look at FIFO and LIFO rules to understand the concept. Let's use some simple numbers. Let's assume you're selling widgets and the cost of, of the widgets is five, four, five, six, seven. So seven is the most recent cost. Now let's take a look at FIFO and LIFO. Let's assume you sold each widget for $10 and you sold one, one widget. Let's start with LIFO since you are using LIFO for C. So 10, so if you sold a widget for $10 and you're using LIFO, you're gonna sell this $7. So 10 minus seven equal to $3 of profit. And what's left is your inventory. And your inventory consists of $4, $5, and $6. All in all, your inventory under LIFO is 15. Now. If this company is using LIFO, if this, I'm sorry, if this company is using FIFO, now we're assuming you're using FIFO, sales is $10 minus $4 will give us a profit of six. Well, if the profit of six, so you sold the $4, what's left of your inventory? What's left in the inventory is the five, the six, and the seven. So if we add them up, our inventory is $18. So notice here, we, we should have a FIFO recapture tax. Why? Because your FIFO inventory is greater than your inventory under LIFO. Now, why do you have to pay this tax? So just, is it like an arbitrary rule or what, what's the reason behind it? Here's the reason behind it. Here's what the IRS or the government wants you to do. You have a profit. You have a profit here of uh, hitting profit. What do, what do I mean by hitting profit? Basically, your inventory is $3 more under LIFO. And as a result, you have $3 of unrealized gain in your inventory. So your inventory, notice it's a greater, if we compare this inventory to this inventory, you would say, well, 18 is greater than 15. So you have more inventory. So you have an unrealized gain that you are not realizing. So the government says, look, if you want to switch from C to an S, and that's the situation, we want you to accelerate. We want you to kind of basically accelerate means do it now and book this unrealized gain now. So the difference between those is $3. What do you have to do? You have to book it now. Book it now means pay taxes on the $3. Now, once you pay the taxes on the $3, the $3 is added to your inventory. 
So this is the basic idea. We will work a little bit um, a detailed example, but that's the idea behind it. Now taxes, how do you pay the taxes? The recapture tax is, we're gonna say 21% because that's the corporate tax rate. How do you pay the taxes? It, you pay them in four equal installment with the first payment due before the due date of a C. So once you want to switch, so let's assume this is year one, and so what happens is you're gonna file your tax return in year two. You have to make the first payment for this was a C corporation. You have to make the first payment when it's a C corporation. There's no extension for that. Then you make the remaining three payments. So you basically make four payments all in all for that tax. Now, to avoid any payment of additional interest, the corporation should make the installment payment by the due dates. There should be a due dates. In addition, there are no estimated taxes on these installment. So you don't have to pay any estimated taxes. And the basis of the LIFO inventory is adjusted. As I, as I told you, the inventory under LIFO will become 18. However, the AAA account, if you don't know what this is, don't worry about it, we'll talk about it later, is not decreased by the payment of the LIFO recapture tax. So when you pay that tax, you don't have to lower, lower your AAA. Don't worry, just write the rule down. You will thank me when we talk about the AAA account. Let's take a look at a more comprehensive example. Since its formation, ABC has used LIFO costing to account for its inventory. That's fine. Three years later, X4, the ABC shareholder decided to convert or elect the S status. At the end of 2003, the basis of the inventory LIFO was 87. Well, let's see what's FIFO. If we look at FIFO, it's 105. So FIFO is greater than LIFO. Well, guess what? We're gonna have to do something about this recapture tax. Well, let's see. What is the amount of LIFO recapture tax that ABC should pay? And what is the basis of the LIFO inventory for the S corporation? Well, first let's compute the recapture. Well, it's the difference, the difference between 105 and 87. And we're gonna take the difference and multiply it by the 21%. That's basically prompts tax rate. And as long as it's in effect, it's 21%, it could be something else. So we're talking about an $18,000 difference times 21%. The company is responsible for 3,780. Do they have to pay this amount immediately? Not at all. They can break it into four installment payment, which will make each payment of $945. And what is the basis? What is the basis of the inventory for LIFO now? Well, the basis is 87,000. 87, then you add since you already pay the taxes on the 18,000, you add the taxes on the 18,000 and the LIFO basis and in the inventory becomes 105. So basically what you did is you accelerated the gain, you pay the taxes on it and you increased your inventory. Let's talk about the general business credit recapture. As a business operating as a C corporation, you might qualify for many business credits. And this is a various business credit investment, work opportunity credit, low income housing, disabled access credit, so on and so forth. If you convert from a C to an S and you no longer qualify because your status has changed, guess what? You have to recapture those credit. So an S corporation that was previously taxed as a C is liable for any recapture attributed to those credit during the C corporation tax year because basically you lost your status. You qualified because you were a C, you got those credit, now you lost them. You have to recapture them. And that's all what you need to know as far as this general business credit recapture for the CPA exam. So the LIFO recapture tax is important whether you are a CPA, enrolled agent, or an accounting student, make sure you know it. What should you do now? Go to Farhat and look at MCQs, true, false, maybe additional exercises. That's gonna help you understand this concept better. Understanding how S corporation works will help you understand the overall picture. So the LIFO recapture tax is, is an important topic. It could appear on the exam, easy points. And you need to know this also for the FAR exam or the financial accounting and reporting, or eventually the name of that, the, that, that section will be changed, but you need to know it. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.